on this podcast, we're talking towards youth and um, one of the feelings that at least I've found myself feeling and a lot of my friends have as well is the feeling that we're losing our minds. So, uh, and I can imagine that probably more people than just me and my friends feel that. So um, I ask, um, are we all losing our minds? Well, we actually can't lose our minds. However, uh, there has been quite a change in our minds. Um, as always, I think over human history, we change our minds uh, on the collective conscious and the collective unconscious level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the same time, our minds are our choice of what we think of them, how we perceive them. So if we decide to have a mind that is restless, that's been one of my favorite conditions to uh, visit. If we, um, on some level, have the experience of having a mind that has had some mental health issue, maybe restlessness mm -hmm. is one of those, but yeah. you know, something more serious, we may feel that we're losing our minds, but that's just the expression of the mind in that moment. And it's I think brilliant. that's why meditation is so valuable because it helps us understand our minds. It helps us understand that there's more to us than just our minds. And when our minds are starting to feel really weird, which I still remember my teenage years. So yeah, losing my mind was one of the things I felt. <laughs> a and constant. to recognize that it's just, a, it's a changing circumstance. It's just for now. It's, feels like it, we may think it, but it's not happening, not in mm -hmm. the long run. Not in the long, yeah, that's brilliant. That's a, that's a great way to look at it. Um, to look at it, I guess, as from perspective of change, because I guess nothing really is constant in that sense, especially when you're a teenager. It, it kind of makes sense taking that um, perspective that you said, or that you kind of explained there, um, because so many other things are changing in your life that to, I guess, expect that your mind isn't going to change as well as um, maybe doing a disservice to yourself in a certain way. Yeah, that's actually, I think that's a good way to express it. Because if you don't accept that your mm -hmm. mind is going to go through changes, you're not really honoring that aspect of yourself. Yeah, and maybe, maybe you can further elaborate.